Hello and welcome to the second part of this Backbone tutorial. In this part we're going to connect Backbone to a server. So we're going to be using Node, Express, and MongoDB to uh, store and manipulate data inside of an actual database for our Backbone app. So let's get started now. The first thing we want to do is we want to install uh, Node on our computer. So if you don't have Node, you can go to um, nodejs.com.org and install here. You can just install Node. And once you have Node installed, you can check that it's working by typing in node-v and then npm-v, so you'll see versions there. npm is basically a um, Node package manager. It'll allow us to install modules that will work with our app. So now that we have Node installed, the first thing we want to do is we want to install Express which is the framework that we're going to be using to um, run our app. So before we do that, let's do um, npm init. This is going to create a package.json file inside of our directory, and this will store all of our um, modules that we're using so that people can know what we're using and download them directly. So let's just press enter all the way through here. And we're just going to do yes here. And so now if you take a look in our directory here. We'll see a package.json file here. It's currently pretty much empty. I'll show you what it looks like right now. Um, it's not quite empty, but it doesn't really have anything in here. So there's nothing... Um, well, I have a Git repository, so just ignore that for now, but there's really nothing here for now. So what we want to do now is we want to install Express by typing in npm install dash dash save. This is going to automatically save it into our uh, package.json file. Let's type in express right here and wait for that to download or install. You see if we click here now, uh, express has been automatically added to our dependencies list in our package.json file. So that is all set up there. Now what we need to do is we need to go create a server.js file. This is going to be where we start and run our server from. And so if you see our file here, we don't have a server.js file yet. Let's create one. Again, you can do this manually from the folder if you want. Just right click and um, select new file if you want. I'm just going to do this shortcut here. And so now you see we have a server.js file in our folder. So now let's go into our server.js file. Again, you can just double click on the file if you want. I have a shortcut here. And we're going to set up a very basic um, express server. And so here's what we're going to type in for. We're just going to start with var express equals require express. So we're going to require the express module. And then we're going to do um, var app equals express. So this is going to um, create a variable that we can run express from. And now we're going to do app.use um, express dot static. This is going to be um, pointing to where our static files are going to be. And I'll explain a little more in a little bit. So our static files are going to be in a folder called public just to separate our files a little more. Um, so we're going to be moving our files in a little bit. So um, just don't worry about that for now. And then let's do um, app, or let's do var port equals 3000. Uh, you can choose any number that you want. And then we're going to do app.listen on the port. And then we're going to do console.log server on, and we'll just do port here. And I just need to fix this console right here. I spelled that wrong. So now let's actually create this public directory where our stack static files are going to be. Um, so I'm going to do a make dir public, and you'll see now I have a public file or folder there. And I'm going to move my index.html, my Bower components, um, and my scripts file into that public directory. So uh, let's, I'm just going to do this in the folder just to kind of show you what that looks like. So let's go to um, home, I'm going to go to my code folder, go to misc, go to Backbone tutorial, blog roll app, 
Let's drag this index.html file in there, drag this scripts file in there, and drag this Bower components in there. Um, you know, I'm not doing everything according to best practice, but we're keeping it simple for now. So you'll see we have a public folder with those in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a separate folder for my scripts file, uh, just to separate that a little more. So I'm going to put my scripts file into a uh, JS folder. So now we need to change um, our index.html file a little bit. So we need to change that um, directory. So let's go into our, um, whoops. So we're going to go into public folder. We're going to open up our index.html file now. And we need to change this path to be uh, JS slash scripts. And we don't need the public here because our index is in the public folder already. So now um, our app should work on the local host. And so now let's go to our terminal. We can type in node server. It'll say listening on our server on 3000. So if we go to our browser and we type in localhost 3000 and all the functionality should still be there. So we can type in Michael, Michael's blog, uh, Michael's blog.com. I'm spelling everything wrong and it'll still work like that. I can edit this. Michael 2.0, 2.0, 2.0. I can click on update here. It'll update, I can delete it. So all our functionality is still there. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to set up Mongoose to use with our um, app or MongoDB first. So we're going to be using MongoDB uh, as our database for this app. So we can go to um, mongodb.org and download and install the MongoDB. And once we have it installed, we need to do a few things before we can um, start using it. So one thing we need to do before we can run MongoDB is we need to create a um, data slash DB folder at the way root of our computer. So if we go um, all the way back to the way root of our computer, we'll see the slash thing here. And you'll see that I have a data folder here. So you need, you need to create that folder. And inside of that data folder, I have a, a DB folder. So it's going to end up looking like slash data slash um, DB. And with a Mac, um, you might not have permission to access that folder yet. And so there's a site that I, there's a page that I found here. It gives you the commands to give yourself permission to do it. So you can type in, um, uh, let me just pull this over to the side here. You can type in this um, ls slash ld and then slash data slash db and then you'll see something with the dr wxr dash whatever and then you would type in the next thing here so the sudo ch mod 0755 slash data slash db and then the third thing here which is the sudo chown dash r user slash data slash db and then once you do that you should have the permission to um, enter into those folders with mongodb and then to run MongoDB, we need to run MongoD from the folder that contains that command. Um, when I downloaded MongoDB, I used brew install MongoDB, and it installed it into a weird folder, and so I created a shortcut for myself, and I'll show you where my shortcut is. So my DB, MongoDB folder is technically in, um, let's see, it's technically in my user slash local slash bin and so I don't want to type that out every single time, and so I created a shortcut to do it. Uh, so you basically navigate to whatever folder contains the MongoD, Mongo, wherever you downloaded MongoDB to. Uh, for me, it would be this bin folder here. I would navigate there. So I go to, um, let me just get there. Really, I'll just do it as an example. So CD user, CD local, CD bin. And you'll see that in here I have the MongoD and Mongo. So from here, I'm going to run MongoD. And you should see um, this waiting for connections on port uh, 27071 uh, or whatever the number that is. Uh, and so that means that MongoDB is running correctly. And so now let's set up Mongoose. for. So we can just leave this here for now. We're not going to mess with that um, at all. So what we want to do now is we want to set up Mongoose with our app. So we're going to first install Mongoose. So we're going to do npm install g. No, not g save dash dash save so again that's going to put it into our uh, package.json file here so let me open this up so we can kind of see that uh, work real time and we're going to install 
mongoose. There's a lot of different options we have here. I'm just using mongoose because it's a really popular one and it has a lot of features to it, which we're not going to use them all, but um, So, all right, so now we see that mongoose has been installed and it's now in our package.json file. So now what we want to do is we want to include mongoose in our server.js file. And normally we want to create different files and modules for the different parts of our app. But since this is just a tutorial for simplicity's sake, we're just going to keep everything inside of this server.js file. And so now we need to actually set up mongoose in our server.js file. So let's go ahead and do that. To, that, to do that, we're going to type in far mongoose equals require mongoose and below that we're going to type uh, mongoose.connect equals or parentheses and we're going to write in mongodb this is going to tell mongoose what database we want to connect to and so mongodb localhost and we're going to name our database blog role and I know it's not created yet but MongoDB will automatically do that once we type that in there and then below that we're going to type in var schema schema is what um, Mongoose uses to figure out the format of the data that we uh, introduced to it so var schema is going to be mongoose.schema and below that we're going to create a new blog schema and this is going to look exactly like um, the schema that we used or the model that we used on our client side so there's going to be a new schema and we're going to create a uh, well this schema is going to have this format so same as from our backbone uh, models it's going to have an author and the type is going to be string it's going to have a title the type is going to be string it's going to have a url which is also going to be a string and so next we're going to do mongoose dot model uh, blog is going to be a blog schema this is just the standard setup for mongoose then we're going to do var blog this is just going to be a shortcut to access our blog schema here um, dot model blog right here so now just to kind of test this out what we're going to do is we're just going to instantiate um, a piece of data uh, called blog here and we're just going to say var blog equals new blog and we're going to give this blog um, just some sample values here so let's give it Michael title is going to be um, Michael again let's escape the apostrophe there Michael's blog and the URL is going to be HTTP colon slash slash michaelsblog.com and so now when we launch our server um, this piece of data is going to be added or oh, we need to do um, we also need to do blog.save so that's actually going to save it to our database so now when we launch our server um, it's automatically going to put this into our database and then we'll test it out using um, our terminal we'll just kind of find it using Mongo so let's type in node server and it should say listening or server on 3000. So now let's go to another um, terminal window and we're gonna launch Mongo in a slightly different way. So let's go back to that folder. I'm not gonna use any of my shortcuts. I'm just gonna go there by hand. So CD local, this is where my Mongo um, is. And this time instead of doing Mongo D, we're gonna instead do Mongo without the D and that's gonna launch us into Mongo. And so now uh, what we can type in is we can do show DBs this is going to show us the different databases we have in our uh, Mongo and you'll see here that we have a blog rule here which is the database that we just created using um, our server.js file so we can go to use blog rule and then we can do show collections and you'll see here there's a collection called blogs that's just basically the plural of this uh, class name that we created right here that will MongoDB will do that automatically for us. And so now we can do uh, db.blogs, that's our collection, dot find, parentheses, enter. And now you'll see this item that I entered in. So you see here the Michael, the Michael's blog, and the uh, Michael's blog.com here. If we want to make it look a little nicer, we can do db.blogs.find.pretty because, um, well, 
that just looks a little bit nicer. And so that's how we're going to set up Mongoose for our app. We're going to stop here for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to do get and post requests so that we can get data from our database as well as post data to our database. So stay tuned for that video. That's all for now. All right, bye.